So you're probably wondering why I have this super cool hat. Well, out here in Colorado, the sun is a little hotter, I think. Yesterday, we spent like a full day out there trying to pour concrete on one of our fixing flips. And today, I just don't have it in me to not be having protection. Let's go check out some more units. Hey, what's up, millionaires? Today, we are out in Colorado. We're in Denver, Colorado at one of our storage facilities. Now, this storage facility we bought about three months ago. And the reason we bought this was because it was owned by a family that had this property for many years. I wanna say over 20 years. So their management styles were a little different than what's been more modern. So we bought this property for just under a million dollars. And in three short months, we were able to renovate this entire complex by doing things like sealing the asphalt, painting the doors, adding automation to the billing, and of course, new signage. So when we updated all these things, we were able to reduce the expenses and increase reoccurring revenue. Now, when it comes to commercial properties, the way that you increase the value of the property is by increasing the NOI, the net operating income. So when we bought this property, and it wasn't performing at its highest and best use, we were able to come in and automate these things, get these units rented. And now, today, we're gonna to be doing some lockouts, some overlocks, and we're gonna be cutting some locks. So we're gonna be going through and we're gonna be finding out what units are not occupied because when we bought this property, we knew that some of these units were vacant, but they had an old lock on them. So we're gonna be cutting those locks today and getting these new units online and available for rent. We also have a new tenant that's moving into unit six today, and we're gonna be going ahead and signing a lease with them. And and again, as we sign these new leases with these new tenants, basically what we're doing is we're increasing the income of this property. And once we get this unit operating at 100% efficiency and all the income is coming in from these units, we're gonna go ahead and list this property for sale. So even though we've only owned this property for three months, we've already squeezed out all of the value that we can add from this property. And the reason that I choose to do that with my investments is because I think that value add is more important than appreciation. Because I can come in here and I can reduce the expenses, I can increase the the income and then I can list this property for more in a short period of time while appreciation will only go up with the market so I can force appreciate this property take out my money buy another property and then force appreciate that one so let's go check out some of these units let's open up some locks and let's increase this revenue Let's go. All right, so let me walk you through and show you some of the renovations that we did to this property to increase the more likeliness that this property will be sellable and also rentable. Let's check it out. So out here, we updated the signage. So by adding new signage to this property, it makes it more updated. We also painted the entire building. Uh, we're actually installing an automated gate system so we can actually change our reservations and issue gate codes over the internet. So we actually have a team that's overseas that's helping us out with a lot of the managing of the phone calls and the leasing and answering some of the customer service. So they can actually lease up these units virtually. We painted all the doors because what was here before was just an old outdated look. It was really yellow. It actually had like four different colors. So we went ahead and we painted all the doors. We added new gutters. A lot of these gutters were all damaged. So we went ahead and we updated all the new gutters. Also inside this property, there's a lot of trash and even today we still have a lot of trash. So we'll go through and clean all that stuff up today. So on some of these units, you know, these locks, these are locks that aren't issued by us. We've been trying to get all of our locks issued so it's standardized across all the units. Again, it's just one of those visual things that I think adds a lot of value to properties because when you have a property and you like look down and you see like four different colors, four different locks, it's not uniform. So I think that when you have a lot of things like that, it just makes it a little better. So here's a unit that's open. So this this unit, unit 15, again, right now, okay, it looks like someone might have moved out. And this is why we check on this unit, because right now this unit is open and there's no tag. So we're gonna go ahead and add a tag to this. So that way we'll get this, thing, this unit back online. And when we get this thing rented up, again, that'll add more income to the property and increase the value of this property. So we're gonna go ahead and add that tag to it now, update our system, and then I'll show you a few more things. All right, so here's a cool tip when you're talking about investing in real estate. For every $100 that I actually decrease the expenses or $100 that I increase the revenue, I'm actually able to add almost $25,000 in value to the total value of the property. That's based off the cap rate. For more information on cap rates, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and I'll give you more content. Let's do the math. 11 times $25,000 is $275,000 in value just by adding these units back in. 
to the system. That's kind of mind blowing to me because you know, I just do this because I really enjoy this. I really love taking properties and transforming them and taking like old outdated units and, and just bringing them back to life. And also I love being able to give our customers a higher value when it comes to being in this unit. So it's not really the money as the driver for me, but I do love the fact that um, you know, just by renting these units out, fixing these prop this property up, we're able to add two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to the value of this property. What's even more mind-blowing is the fact that when I deployed to Iraq when I was twenty in my twenties, I made twenty-eight thousand dollars. So just by renting eleven units, I just that's ten times as much money as I made while deployed to Iraq. So I think I'm gonna stick to this real estate business a little more. And if you're interested in real estate, make sure you're following this channel because I'm gonna give you as much value as I can and keep it real with you guys. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. Hey, what's up? So we're at Home Depot right now. Again, working on these storage units. So the big thing that we want to do to wrap this project up is install some new doors. Once we install these new doors, we're going to get the cabinets and countertops, give it a quick clean, and that is the final product for these, this deal. We'll see you guys in the next video.